Go now to DryerBuzz.com and follow at DryerBuzz on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hey guys, it's Yolanda at DryerBuzz, and I'm on a budget. See the blog on a budget, and so I stopped in because you know we're on this juicing journey, especially for the weekend. And so basically, I've got to, I need to get a couple of items, and I'm gonna try to do this with a $15 budget and maybe a little bit of $20 to have a little wiggle room. But I'm not gonna get a lot because I got a couple of stores I gotta stop by. But I wanted to uh, just quickly come in here because I know I wanna do something with roasted peppers um, this weekend. I'm amping up the vegetables even though I have to cook for my family of meat eaters. But I know that with what they're eating and what I'm probably gonna dip into, I also wanna make sure I have some good vegetables on the uh, side. So. Um, Peppers are looking pretty good, and I'm going to do something um, I saw Dr. Flavor Spices do that we all need to be doing, and that's roasting some vegetables. And she's doing the cookie sheet life. Check her out. She's also about to become part of Breakfast with Dryer Buzz. Uh, so I'm just going to grab me one of each pepper, and I'm going to do peppers. I'm going to throw in some potatoes and maybe uh, some squash and zucchini. And you put it on your cookie sheet, put your uh, spices on there, the flavoring, and you just kind of throw that in the oven. And I've done this, I, I kind of got a real kick out of doing it last, uh, let me see, when did I do it before? Now the peppers, as you can see there, the pepper spices there. So I want to get me, I want to get a couple of really good ones, and I'm going to just start to fill up my, my buggy here. And what I like to do, I'm going to, I'm just going to cut them up, put them on the cookie sheet, um, the red ones always turn out so good, but you notice they are larger and, uh, and actually they got a, a, about a dollar more on the price. So that tells me this is a premium, premium product. I don't want to, I don't want too much red, but I, I do want to, um, I do want a nice size red, but no, probably not at that price. I'm going to just go with one of these and then I'm going to grab a green pepper. And it's so funny because the green, green pepper is a staple that we're all really familiar with putting green most of us put green peppers in everything but i want to create a real rainbow here in my buggy and then i need to i'm going to cook some collards this weekend uh as well as some other things i need to do more with jalapeno and basically what i'm trying to do is find the foods that really do stuff to the body now i always love having some food. and you know what as a matter of fact in this uh, cookie sheet uh, life that Dr. Flavor Spices is doing and what I have tried is throwing in some zucchini. I will either do because I want to create a nice rainbow on my roasted vegetables I will normally either do zucchini or fresh uh, string beans and I don't see this and you know what I find that because we have because we have eaten so much takeout, so much prepared food, so much processed food. A lot of us don't really know how to really recognize the vegetable. I'm gonna tell you a time or two, I have reached for a zucchini and grabbed a cucumber. I'm just saying, we gotta get back to it. But I'm gonna I'm gonna grab me a small batch of this um batch of the asparagus and I'm going to put that in there. So that's gonna go as part of my roasted vegetable. And then of course, because I don't wanna, I'm gonna slow down on the meat this weekend, I'm gonna throw in, and anytime I'm trying to switch up my meat uh, intake, I usually will go heavier on the mushroom. And I'm looking down there, is that some sun-dried tomatoes down there? Uh, some of you might ask, I'm sorry, especially on the juicing. I have tried y'all to put that celery and cucumber in my juice, and I just can't. Oh my God, I've tried, I've tried. I've tried and tried and tried. So uh, I'm thinking I might want a zucchini in that. So I'm just gonna grab one, one zucchini. And not even like, that's a huge one. I don't, I don't wanna, I'm looking at the zucchini. Here. And y'all make sure that when I am switching around that y'all see what I'm grabbing. Um, maybe a couple of small zucchinis. Yeah, zucchinis is a dollar fifty nine a pound. So I think that's gonna be in budget. And basically, um, just a couple of zucchini on there, and then I know that I want to cook some cook some collards. So I'm gonna check the prices on that. They got. I'm gonna get me a bag of this, and, and I, they got their bag seems to be a little bit bigger than what I want to go to the grocery store. Now because I know that they are 
Oh, it's a 349 on that one. This is the same. 349. That's a bigger bag. I might not need two of those. I'm gonna go with one. Because I'm also I have a couple of budgets that I'm working with here. I've got the weekend budget. I've got the um, dinner budget for the week for the weekend. So weekend, what are we doing? Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Um, and then also I have my juicing budget now so this is dinner i haven't even got to the juice so all this is on my dinner budget i have to keep that stuff in mind uh and i'm gonna throw in maybe a mushroom in with this if either a mushroom or a potato mushroom or potato and i guess i could do i'm looking at some root a root vegetable over there i'm thinking mm, okay let me see because that's a lot and you have to think about it because i mean i want to put this on my cookie sheet and and put it in the oven roasted vegetables and i, I like roasting because then you could just Put it in the oven, you don't have to stand over it and babysit it as if you're going to do kind of like a stir fry. Um, and then you can get a good, really good flavoring on that. And I guess I need to get some foil when I go to the store because I don't want to have to clean up that cookie sheet, right? Uh, and then I know we, everybody's been switching around for this. I may have to decide on another option from the aluminum. Uh, let me see. Okay, so I got the collar. I'm thinking about, I'm looking at the mushrooms here, trying to figure out if I want to just go with these whole mushrooms or the slice. Or I might want to, you know, really meat it up, earth it up, and get that, get the portobello over there, up there. So I'm just looking and trying to see if I want to do, the potato is going to be really heavy. And that's the thing too, when you, I'm just going to get some sliced mushroom uh, to go with that. So that's pretty much that. That's a dish in and of itself. So one of the things is, uh, one of the things you want to do is when you're trying to, and again, you know, I'm just basically trying to get to a point that I feel better. I'm not diving in all vegan or anything like that. It's just that after a summer of eating all that I ate, and you can see all that I ate because I posted everything I posted I ate. Oh, I might see I'm, my Sunday dinner is getting out of hand already because I'm looking over here at this fresh corn. And if you can cook and you see fresh corn, you get a little bit excited. And I'm like, no, we already said what we were going to have, but I don't think I want to um, do corn. Although I could. And let me tell y'all, and I know this is something my grandmother used to try to drill in my head, that cooking fresh vegetables is a whole lot easier and, and, and as fast and as quick as cooking canned vegetables. And uh, my grandmother uh, reincarnated in a friendship that I have with the Jason Hodge, who does a can scan when I'm, <laughs> when I'm shopping. And so we keep very little, if any, cans of uh, canned goods in the house now. Um, and the corn was one of those. You know how you buy a can of corn and you throw it on the stove? Listen, it takes them only a few minutes more, just like you're gonna struggle to get that can open. You can shut that corn and get that corn in a, in a pan or a bowl or whatever you're gonna have, you're gonna prepare. I like to make fr fried cream corn with mine. Um, so just to say is that, all right, and I'm, I'm still getting, everybody's still texting me the items they want on the grocery list. All right, so now, actually what I just got here goes along with my dinner, Sunday dinner. And even with the roasted vegetables, I know with the roasted vegetables, I know that's gonna give me two days, or not even two days, I try to cook now something that the girls can have um, for leftovers to take to lunch. So I know that that's gonna give me some leftovers. So basically, I'm gonna have some greens. So we got a little bit of rainbow going here. This is our rainbow dish and definitely gonna have some collards. I hadn't cooked collards in so long. My daughter, uh, my other daughter is, was a collard cooker. I was the one, I, I would do cabbage. Cabbage was always my go-to because it was easy to do the cabbage. Just, hey, cut it up a couple times and throw it in the pan with whatever meat you were gonna season or flavor it, flavor it with. All right, so I'm gonna go over here to the other side. Uh, I decided not to not to go with potato there. I decided to go with mushroom, zucchini, and asparagus in there with the hello there. So we're gonna go over here on the other vegetable and fruit side, and I'm gonna grab up some things. I'm trying to think what I have, and I think we actually cleaned out the fridge. So we're at a point where I need everything. I absolutely need everything. All right, so now we're gonna think about our uh, juicing, and I know I need. I still have a couple of grapefruit. Ooh, honey, the muscadines are in the building. Y'all need to stop. The muscadines are in the building, honey. Um, what I did not have was any oranges. I still have some grapefruit. I still have some pineapple, but I might, and the pineapple was so good. How much is this one? I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna get a, uh, oh, this one got a, uh, this one's gonna have a sale. Let's see, 50% off on that. So we're gonna grab that 
pineapple. Now this is part of the $15 juice budget. Uh, and I think I got all my vegetables for that particular meal. The other meal that we're supposed to make is some Alfredo um, and then some nacho. So, and I noticed they had a, a, a nacho thing on there. So if I wanted to, I can go ahead and get some, some vegetables already prepped. One of the things I did not do with juicing is I did not have any watermelon. I didn't do any watermelon. Um, and especially if in juicing, you know, some of these things you buy, you need to go ahead and use. Now, I love blackberries in my juice, not blackberries, um, blueberries in my juice, but I found that I had a reaction to them. And I was, I was going strong on them. And that's why I say, if you do try to start juicing, hey there, uh, Kevin, May, you have the best day ever. Thank you so much, shop for your help, right? I found that um, when you juice, a lot of times we get the recipes and things like that, and we just kind of go heavy and start, you know, just grabbing stuff and throwing it in the juice. And you need to go slow on uh, and start out with just a couple of things. So therefore, if like me, you do have all kind of allergies and reactions, you'll know what you've had. So don't just, you know, the rainbow looks good. It looks good having all this fresh stuff in your fridge and in your juice. But if you put too much in the juice, like like this one, it has a mixture. They've got one here. Like, see, I could take that. You could take it for convenience, because like I said, prep takes a lot of work when you're trying to experiment with juicy. And so if you buy, were to buy something like this, just imagine so that you know that each serving is going to give you $3.49. You, you can take that, put that in your Nutribullet or whatever apparatus you are using, and that would be, that would give you a nice hearty juice. Because a lot of times people look at that and like, oh man, how am I going to eat all that fruit and all that salad? That's why people are juicy. Now, another uh, great thing is bringing in more avocado and dates. If you mix avocado and dates, and put a little cocoa powder in there along with a banana it tastes just like a really good chocolate pudding and uh and that's why when you go into the juice place and you see chocolate pudding it's not cream it's not I mean it's not milk it is avocado dates uh a little bit of agave and then they throw in a little cocoa powder in there and uh it it, it looks and tastes it tastes better than chocolate pudding because then you don't get that after effect of the dairy Let's see, they got some bananas over there that need to go. Um, let me see here. Okay, so I'm trying to say, oh, I know I need some, I need avocados. And they are $1.99. The larger ones are $2.49. So I'm trying to think, what was I going to do with avocado? I One, one reason uh, I go for the avocado is because uh, it, I feel like it really helps me on the, on the uh, cholesterol side. Let's see. And you know what? I think the next stop I'm going to, I think they have a sale. So I'm probably going to wait on the avocado. I know that one looks pretty good right there. But I think I'm going to wait on the avocado. What else do I need? I need some lemon juice, some lemons, because I want to drink more water. And I'm one of those people I cannot um, drink water unless I squeeze a little lemon in it. Oh, and pear. Now, pear makes a really good juice. And I did not have. So I think I'm gonna get me, just get a couple of pears. I'll make me a nice pear juice on that. So I'm gonna get a couple of pears. And I'm thinking about each each juice. I'm thinking about, um, I am thinking about, wait a minute, I think I wanna get these, not that one. I think I want some of these. This is the ones that come up nice and soft in your um, juice, so. All right, we gotta we gotta get a little bit more on the juice side, guys. I know I need some more. Do I need? I, I didn't even use as much of my apple um, that I had this week because we went hard on the grapefruit and the pineapple. So I think I still have apples. I'm trying to think what I need. I already went juice shopping, so I'm trying to think what I need to put back. We went through the pineapple. We had a little pineapple left. I think more than anything, I still have spinach. I may not even need uh, anything on the G side. I wanted a, a green, something green, let me think. I still have kale, I still have spinach. What did we use? Something I was out of, peaches. I was out of peaches. I found the peaches were really good in the juice. Um, I think that's the only thing I used up was my peaches. And I'm trying to think if I still have an onion. I may need to get an onion. 
I made. I probably just get one on you just in case I don't, I don't. Yeah, that's what I'm missing from my roasted vegetables. I'm missing an onion. So I'm gonna get an onion for my roasted vegetables. That's what I'm missing. Now that is complete. And this is something, it, this is so good, guys, when you um, do that. Okay, so we're replenishing the pineapple on the juice. Do you have any peaches? Okay, so I think that's the only thing I was out of was the um, peaches. And you could do some grapes. I'm trying to think do I want some grapes in my juice. I think peaches is the only thing. And I don't have any tomatoes. I'm gonna grab a tomato just for a sandwich, just to then have a put those out of tomatoes. Yeah, oh, they got some good green tomatoes in there. Ooh. And guys, we are at uh, Farmer's Table, so these are items that are uh, right out the front. Oh, that's a good one right there. I'm gonna go with that. I'm not gonna put the tomato in my roasted vegetable. I just wanna have a tomato or two for sandwiches. Where my uh, tomatoes, yellow tomato, they got a yellow tomato. And see, think about this as far as like salads. Oh my God, okay. Now I want now I want a nice uh, salad. These are kind of but they always soft like that. The yellow tomatoes. I'll try one like that. Creating a basket of rainbow. Because when you create a rainbow in your basket, ah, there we go. There go the peaches. When you create a rainbow in your basket, you uh, you're, you're eating for your health. And once you finish your meal, you feel good. That's what I'm going for. I'm I'm going for. I want to feel. I kept telling my daughter. I said. I don't feel 100%, and you know when you start catching colds, you know your immune system is out of whack. So, um, and, and you can already hear me sniffing. So, ooh, and these are good and fuzzy, good and fuzzy peaches. Oh my goodness, let's grab us some peaches for juicing, y'all. Ooh, look at this bad boy right here. That one came out. Oh yeah, so we're gonna get us a couple of peaches. So what we got here. Oh, can you imagine a peach and pear juice? Oh my God, can you, can you, can you imagine? And to know that somebody picked these, man, I remember, and those of you that are in Atlanta now, y'all are missing it because y'all missed out on the, now this look like it might've come from three different farms. Look at there, look at the red ones over here. Okay. Oh, that one feels so good. This kind of got a little soft spot on. Okay, we're going to go with this one. If y'all don't understand why Atlanta, really why peach tree is uh, in everything Atlanta is because every yard used to have a peach tree. Uh, if you could ride down the street and there were peach trees. And I think we've already gotten everything. I think I'm on my budget. I don't, I don't even know what budget I, <laughs> I came in here with my juice budget, but then as I think about all the items I still have in the fridge for my juicing, I don't think I need, I need them much. I think the only thing we used up was the peaches. I still have all my, my vegetables to get through the weekend. I'm going to do a nice uh, roasted vegetable and some greens to go with dinner. Kids want me to throw in. They want a meatloaf. They want an Alfredo dinner. And then they want a um, pasta dinner. So, and I'm probably not going to be taking all of that. Chicken pasta. I think my daughter's going to do her chicken pasta. The one going to do, we're going to do meatloaf and mac and cheese. Meatloaf collars and mac and cheese tomorrow. Uh, and then uh, nachos. I think nachos today. So I think that's it for my farmer's table budget. Let me tell y'all something right here. These crackers right here. See, this is where I go above and beyond budget. I don't know where they get these savory crackers from, but they are delicious. They are absolutely delicious. I'm, and I'm, I'm testing myself here. I'm trying to think what will I have to eat them with. You know what? I have some cream cheese and preserves. Okay, they're going in the basket. I'm gonna splurge on that. All right. And then, um, if you're into the frozen vegetables, they have all your all your frozen vegetables. They've got, and they added a couple of um, to-go items here. The soups are really good, and this is the I would keep in the fridge for my mom, um, so that she can, you know, her appetite was really good. She would um, could take you know see fix her own food with these things and just put them in the put them in the oven. They got the quiches. They got all your uh, pasta dishes that I think about it. I know I'm supposed to get. I think my daughter said to get a lasagna, but I think she wants another kind, so we'll get that. And then they got this ice cream. Look at the ice cream flavors. That bourbon pecan. Okay, look snacks on a plate. <laughs> 
Oh my god, I love it. Banana caramel. They got you some dark chocolate over there. Dark chocolate is something you want to have. Sauces galore. I love these little jars of sauces. If you're experimenting with flavors or sauces, those are really good. This is the chef I love right here because this chef reminds me of my grandmother's pantry. All the jarring and things like that that our grandmothers used to do that they tried to get us to do. Uh, I always keep a um, keep a jar of chutney and because I went to an event that was catered by a southern caterer and they had some chutney on the table and, and I was like let me try that chutney and oh my god took me back and I'm looking for it as I as I tell you guys about it look they got the pineapple salsa and let me tell you if you're looking to have restaurant flavor at home a lot of times you take these sauces and you mix them um, and I see this in a lot of recipes shortcut recipes is starting with just a couple of spoons of salsa and mixing it with different salad dressings or even a little mayo or some cream or some cheese and different things like that it basically is you end up with the sauces that they use at the restaurants um, and so forth so I'm looking over here. Of course, they got the child of the mouth, child of Vidalia relish, corn relish. I still don't see the chutney. Sweetness spice, Georgia peach chutney. There it is. They got one jar left. Look at this honey, that real honey mustard, y'all. I'm telling you, do south. Honey mustard. Look at that. The vegetable soup base is in the jar. All kinds of stuff. Okay, let me get on out of here. I got, I got to run my errands. I, I, this is me every time I come. So I'm gonna check out. I'm gonna get ready to check out. I'm trying to think. I got another, I got a couple more um, items to go in my weekend juicing. And I, because I'm really gonna have to go back and look in the fridge and see what I was missing. I know I emptied out. I know I still have apples. I know I still have pretty much everything. I think I went through those peaches because they were so good and the pears. And then I've got my collar, so I don't have to get that at the store at the next stop. So now I'm gonna head on to the grocery store. But here, this is these are this is money that I spent locally. So now I'm gonna go to the grocery store. All right, all right, guys. I'm gonna do this as a screenshot and say goodbye. Go now to dryerbuzz.com and follow at dryerbuzz on Twitter.